Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick comparison and um, call fix with uh, Far Cry 3. Now, as you can see in the top left hand corner of the screen, I'm using MSI Afterburners on screen display. Now, this was monitoring all my in game statistics in terms of my hardware, core clock, uh, memory usage, and CPU usage in particular. Now, I want you to pay particular attention to CPU free or thread free, whatever it turns out to be. The main thing is that's pegged considerably higher than all the other cores. You can see it's hovering between 91, 95% or higher, which could potentially be causing a bottleneck. Now, if you look to the bottom of my on-screen display, you can see the load of my graphics card, which is currently hovering around 77 to 80%, but really it should be 99%. I believe that this um, overloaded core is causing a bottleneck at some at some point and of course affecting performance. So what I'm going to do is show you the fix on how to relieve core free of its bottleneck or it's or being maxed out and then um, doing a side by side comparison showing you if it actually increases performance at all. So first and foremost, I'm going to show you the fix. So I'm just going to go out of full screen here. Let's bring up my uh, desktop. What you want to do is load task manager. And you want to go to details and you want to find Far Cry 3. And then you want to set affinity. Now, zero is called one. Um, CPU one is called two and CPU two is called three. Don't get confused. Don't just go straight to three. Um, so what you want to do is just um, uncheck core two. Hit OK. Now, if we go back to the game, you can see CPU free now usage has dropped all the way down to 3%. You've effectively turned off core free or thread free. Now, what you want to do, go back to task manager and re-enable that core free or thread free, whatever it ends up being on your system. Let um, me just put this game back to full screen. Right, so we're back in the game now. As you can see, the CPU free usage is no longer getting to the 90 and uh, 80%. And um, yes, the, the CPU, the GPU load on the RTX 2080 Ti still isn't hitting 100%. However, this may increase performance. So what I'm gonna do now is run a side-by-side -side comparison with the fix on and off, and then you guys can make up your own mind. So uh, let's see. How
So there you have it guys, you can see that there's a clear increase in performance due to enabling this fix and you can see that the GPU load there is almost 10% higher than the uh, run without the fix and you can see that's helped the RTX 2080 Ti spread its legs that Core 3 being 100% really is causing somewhat of a bottleneck. Now it would be great if the game could fully utilize the RTX 2080 Ti or any other GPU but um, you know you, so you know there's performance still on the table there but at least that's freed up a bit more performance. You can see almost a 10 frames per second increase there which is uh, greatly accepted. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.